Welcome everyone, it's Fipish and Dracomar. It's time for some more Regetta Legends. I am going to start with finishing off some Faction Crypt stuff. Um, starting with this. I'm in. Rosin is usually my means of, um, He's usually in my means of, um... Of beating all of this anyway. Um... I'm glad I didn't kill Gator because he's literally one of my only... Wizardman champions. Because I've got to fight my way out, as you can see, with this bog down skill. Um, I don't know. Like and subscribe. I really, I really need more of those. I lost one for some reason. Maybe it was because I posted too much raid at once, but it happens during clan versus clan. I, 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 I worked hard, but I just. It's so hard to come to terms with losing at an event like that. It really is. Um, I will be doing more Elden Ring. I'm just trying to do this before the reset. Because most of Lizardman faction wars in this is literally these two, and mostly just Rosin. Literally 90% Rosin and 10% and, and Metal Shaper. What did he just do? Oh. He did the thing I absolutely hate. So I, I absolutely detest when it steals your buffs. Like, I really do. Um. 
Um, I will eventually develop more lizardmen. That's just a fact. Um, I... I still have a lot to do with Barbarian Faction Wars. Because I've yet to, uh... fix that. Now... The other... account does have it's work cut out with oh I see you wait for the debuff to go on rosin and then you rescue him okay But yeah, I will be uh, raising a Metal Shaper for the other account. Um, I do know that I continue to have to raise um, Cardinal. I've gotten her to level 40. But I haven't gotten her to her final trial yet. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to target the people who do not have a Revive on Death. Because Revive on Death... And that's not a target spell, so it's just, it's just an area of effect to try to get the other ones low. Oh, he can steal it. I did not realize he could actually steal it. I did not realize that. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm doing thus far when it comes to leveling my other champions for Arena. I can see now why Metal Shaper is so valuable, why he's worth 6 star, but I'm not going to 6 star him yet because I have some really valuable champions to do that with that seriously benefit from it. The reason I 6 starred Rosin is because he's the carry. And he does so much for the team. As you can see, I basically ended up staying basically the whole night before realizing I'm not going to beat the Ukrainians. It's, it's just not happening. It is not happening.
So the transference bolt actually does take buffs from people, which I find really interesting. Get two on here? No, it's only a one. So yeah, we're not gonna be progressing until we get more lizard men on here. Um This account was kinda cursed with the Lizardmen. The rosin was the one big break. The rosin and metal shaper were our big breaks. I still have to find other lizardmen. Cardinal was the other big break, but not for lizardmen. It was for obviously a different faction. So that gets our 12 keys in Faction Wars. We're going to want to do some Barbarians. If we can. I'm going to start with stage four. Um, there is still a lot of uh, work to be done in Barbarians. Do not get me wrong. Because... Because there's a lot of these these characters that still need rank ups. Most notably, Sill of the Drakes. She's not top priority, but she's up there. She's up there in priority. Um, now, I am interested in what I could do with Ina. Um, she seems to have a fair amount of potential. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not in a, like, an overjoyed mood <laughs> because of what happened during Clan vs. Clan that, that really took a lot out of me. That really did, because I, it was so exhausting to have an enemy clan that I just could not beat. That was extremely exhausting. I'm beating the uh, lower end is because we don't we don't yet deserve the higher end until I help Syl. 
And I only didn't help Syl because Cardinal came along. And Cardinal was a bigger deal than Syl. Not for this faction, obviously, but in general. Because you want to know how rare full team revives are? Like, full team revives are genuinely rare, by the way. I just want to point that out. All right, we got a full we got a full stack there. Now, can we get much farther? Probably not, but I'm not expecting to because again, I need more of these people, these barbarians in good shape in order to expect to uh, move on. I'll show you the final score because this this is why the reason I'm doing faction wars is because I also felt like I didn't have a lot of materials for the forge and the forge could have been a great source of points for me to win this so that was another uh, problem I had in addition to their very high amount of points. Now... If we can beat stage nine We can just use up all our keys here. And move on to the next one for now. Because I am going to be doing the other Barbarian Tribe one. bad. The reason that this is bad is because I should have targeted I should have targeted the seer so That was my bad. I needed to instantly target the seer. Hopefully I can not do such a um A heinous amount of um, misplay there. 
because uh, that, that was a very bad misplay on my part. Hopefully one day the game will give me a Turvold. Because so far the game is... Oh yeah, I talked to, um... Lord Screeb. The guy who AFK'd for all that time. He just lost interest in the game completely. So he didn't care that I kicked him. Um... That was interesting. To say the least. That was interesting, to say the least. Alright, we got him. Oh, yeah, she doesn't have much. Um... We'll do that for now. Oh, I can collect something. I'm gonna get some energy. I can show what I've been doing a little bit with that energy. So I've been raising my cardinal specifically. Um, I'll show the two different versions. I've been doing it on both auto the Cardinal and the Occult Brawler because Cardinal and Occult Brawler are big for my account. That's why. Cardinal is going to be the Reviver. Um, she still has a long way to go before she really begins to take over. Um, I will need to save up a bunch of gems because I did spend a good amount of gems to try to win last Clampy Clan. And it obviously failed. Now, I'll show the other accounts Lizard Faction Wars, which are also evolving. Um... So, first things first, I'm going to pump up I'm gonna get a bunch of shards, mystery shards. Um, I'm gonna actually start with leveling them. Um, we're gonna start with helping out Broadmaw specifically. 
Um, a cult brawler has been getting a lot of progress. Um, his accuracy has been going up. I, uh... See? His accuracy has been going up. Like, I've been focusing on his accuracy with, like, a pervasive... I'm out. I have been focusing on his accuracy. Um, I also have to take a clan quest in addition. See, because I'm trying to give these people some levels. Because... Both of them, like, he needs to rank 6 at some point. Because I need to make multiple rank 6s per clan be clan. I am annoyed. I mean, I got a legendary, but I'm annoyed it wasn't Michelle. Like, it was, was Drockle the God. He's not bad by any means, but it would have been really nice to have a, uh, a better legendary than that. Um, him applying the poisons here is very promising. Um, now, I, I, I need to ca try to give Brahma some more levels. Like... Because... In the end... All of these people have their purpose. Because, especially a cult brawler, he has a very specific purpose. The main, the main purpose of having this much accuracy on a cult brawler, by the way, is to make sure that he, um... That he always lands that essential poison. So... This is also to regenerate the vast amount of silver that I've lost over the time See, you want to make sure that he gets to the point where resisting the poison is basically impossible. That, that's basically where you want to be with um, a cult brawler. Like, resisting the poison is almost impossible. Um... Faction Wars. So... We're gonna actually start here and go down. Because we're a little bit more advanced on this account. Um. It still does not mean that our account has this fully attended to. Because we don't. Um, I still have to make stuff for the next six star as usual
go. Get that. It got feared. Thankfully, it wasn't a true fear. Because a lot of these bosses put true fear on you. Did you see the damage of that cheer? Pretty, pretty heavy damage. Um... I am forced to save up resources for these characters. Um... Because a cult brawler, in order for him to function correctly, he's got a long way to go. He just does. Um, I will eventually beat Faction Wars on here. It's just, it's going to take a long time because a lot of other factions have gotten in the way, including Drockle the Gaunt, because I felt like if I pulled a dupe of him, like if I pulled a dupe Legendary Lizard Man, I would focus hardcore on this crit. It's just, since I didn't pull a dupe Legendary Lizard Man, or either a Legendary or like a really good Epic, like Venomage, like I would hard focus the script if that was the case. Um, I am going to attempt this crypt just um, because I want to try to see if I can make new progress. Um, I know I don't 100% deserve the new progress, but I'm going to attempt it. Will it be easy? Most certainly not. As you can see though, Rosin is up there on the carry order. So, the thing about it is, is it's going to take a while Okay, so we're going to want to focus down the Luthias I was hoping that was going to apply a frost The big one to focus, obviously, is going to be Luthia, because he's a damage dealer. Uh, followed by her, because she puts decreased defense. I mean, I'm probably going to beat this, but I'm not going to beat it with no losses yet. For obvious reasons.
We did beat it. We did beat it. But like I said, I am... I am continuing to give these people levels because I have to take Broadma all the way to level 50 before he can get into being a six star. And even then, I have superior revivers to him. He could be good in arena though. Because he puts the block damage. Um, especially with, like, Drockle the Gaunt. Um, Purgator is going to be another uh, one that I'm going to eventually develop out. Along with Kale. Um, it's no mistake, I will be developing Kale out, um, later, like the second Kale, but like I said, I have a lot of other priorities before I turn around and upgrade another Kale. Uh, the Lizard, the, the Faction Wars is going to be the first one. As well as a helping a cult. Because Occult Brawler is going to be a big part of a lot of teams. Because he's a poison specialist. So, as usual, we'll start with the boss and scroll down. Now, will we manage to get to the, um, because see, I'm not yet ready to really climb down until we six star him, specifically him, because he is going to be the next six star of this faction. Drop his turn meter. Dropping his turn meter is always a good plan. Uh, unfortunately, he died, but I've got to keep I've got to keep it rolling. Um, I've got to regenerate my uh, my silver reserves. And do more Doom Tower. Um. Because neither my lizard nor my my barbarian's uh, tribe has really reached its conclusion yet. And uh, that's okay though, because we will be doing that over time. Is it, it, it takes a lot of resources. Did you see that damage, though? It takes a lot of resources to six-star a champion, especially to take them to level 60. So... It's going to take a long time before I can really... get this all done. But 
Because that's the that's the one of the cardinal rules. How far did we go down? Oh, we made it all the way to the boss. Which I doubt we're gonna beat. But we could make an attempt at it. Now, will we survive altogether? I don't necessarily think so, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. As you can see though, it will be up to these three, which will do it. Unfortunately, so this is bad. Gotta focus the one on the right and the left. Excuse me. Because the one on the left is the one that's going to really hurt us. Because the one on the left does block damage. Which, those of you who don't know, that is a very harmful debuff. Generally, we're going to want to focus on these three if I want to stand a chance. The main one we're going to want to be focusing on, if any, is going to be... Him, followed by him. I like how the CD is so low now that I booked the skill. There we go. So now... So now we've got... him in a corner, kinda. Which is exactly where we want him. got him in a bit of a corner. C 
still is definitely... Still has definitely put this guy in a corner. A hundred percent. Because the amount of revives that she provides alone is pretty wild. With the booking, because that reduces the cooldown by a lot. That decreased defense up with the with the with the um, the accuracy being better, we might actually be able to take this as maniacal as it seems. I never thought I'd say that. Especially with her resisting all of that. Like, let's go. We might actually be able to take this. Is this... Is this for real? Booking Sill actually did save me. It did! Oh my god, it actually did! Sick! Actually sick. Actual, sick, actual. I'm impressed against my will. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I was never expecting that to work, by the way. Not in my wildest dreams. I was never expecting that to work. But, hey. Sill actually... Booking Sill actually did it. Boy. It actually paid off. What do you know? Boom. Pretty impressive. If I do say so myself. Very impressive. Reminding everyone. I still have to recover the... I still have to do so many... Champions. I will show a cult brawler in some content soon with uh, Ice Golem and such because I've actually figured out how to make him work in Ice Golem. The thing is, he needs more levels to his gear, which is going to require still more farming. As per usual. As per usual. <laughs> 